Number seven. Student watches porn and gets naked. A Bangladeshi 20-year-old student was arrested after watching porn, stripping naked and attacking an attendant during a flight. In March 2018, shortly after the Melindo air flight departed from Kuala Lumpur, the 20-year-old started watching pornography on his laptop. As nobody seemed to notice or call him out for it, the man began taking his clothes off. At the request of the cabin crew, the student put his clothes back on, but soon he tried to hug female flight attendants. When the crew members rejected him, he reportedly became aggressive and groped a flight attendant. With the help of some of the passengers, the cabin crew managed to subdue the man and tie his hands with a piece of cloth for the rest of the flight. One of the passengers captured the moment with his phone. Although airline officials refused to confirm details of the incident, the photo of a man with his bottom sticking out of his pants and hands tied up emerged online. The disruptive passenger was arrested on arrival. Number 7. Man urinates on fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. An Algerian man was arrested in February 2016 on arrival of his flight after causing a fight on the plane and urinating on another passenger. The incidents took place mid-air on an Air Mediterranean flight from Algiers to Paris. Halfway through its 90-minute route, one of the passengers was outraged because he wasn't allowed to smoke or drink alcohol on board. He later urinated on another passenger in protest, but the victim stood up and punched him. Cabin crew members managed to break up the fight and held down the disruptive passenger. The flight was diverted to Leon, and the Algerian man, along with the other man involved in the fight, were escorted off the plane by police upon landing. Number 7. Passenger dragged off flight and severely injured. A man was dragged out of a United Airlines plane and injured after he refused to give up his seat on an overbooked flight. In 2017, United Airlines Flight 3411 had to make room for four employees who needed to make it to Louisville, the flight's destination. The airline offered travel vouchers and a free hotel room and seat on a later flight to anyone who had volunteered to deboard, but there were no takers. Therefore, cabin crew had to randomly choose four. One of them was Dr. David Dow, who was already in his seat. However, Dr. Dow refused to leave the flight as he had to see patients at his clinic the next morning. When the airline staff insisted Dr. Dow leave, he refused and tried calling United Airlines customer service, but was soon approached by three Chicago Department of Aviation security officers. Dr. Dow was physically removed from his seat and dragged off the plane. During the altercation, his head was smashed against the armrest and he started screaming. Some of the other passengers took pictures and videos of the incident with their phones. Dr. Dow was caught on camera bleeding and was left with a broken nose, a concussion and two of his front teeth were knocked out. Ultimately, Dr. Dow sued United Airlines and was awarded an undisclosed amount of money. Number 7. Pilot dies mid-flight. A 57-year-old pilot died mid-flight while flying American Airlines Flight 550 from Phoenix to Boston. On October 5, 2015, Captain Michael Johnston fell ill while en route. The plane was carrying 147 passengers and five crew at takeoff. After Johnston fell ill, the co-pilot announced to air traffic control that there was a medical emergency because the captain had been incapacitated. Soon after, he diverted the flight to Syracuse, New York and safely landed the plane. The passengers were told through the intercom that the pilot was sick and had to wait for the body to be removed. The flight made it to Boston almost five hours after its scheduled landing time. An autopsy showed that the pilot had died of natural causes. His wife later revealed that Captain Johnston had a double bypass surgery in 2006, so it was possible that he died of a heart attack. Number 7. Man takes selfie with plane hijacker. A domestic Egyptian flight 
carrying 55 passengers was diverted to Cyprus by a hijacker threatening to blow up his belt, which was allegedly rigged with explosives. The Egyptian man, named Seif Eldin Mustafa, was wearing a white belt with wires sticking out and asked for the plane which was heading from Alexandria to Cairo to be diverted across the Mediterranean in order to land in Larnaca, Cyprus. Mustafa kept passengers and crew hostage for almost six hours. When the plane finally landed in Cyprus, it was surrounded by members of the island's anti-terror squad. Over the next hour, Mustafa allowed about 40 passengers to walk free and started to make demands. The alleged terrorist requested the heavy police presence around the plane be removed and also wanted political asylum. In the meantime, a British passenger, who was among the last passengers to be released, asked the flight attendants to translate for him that he wanted to take a selfie with the hijacker. Mustafa allegedly shrugged OK, so the British passenger named Ben Innes stood by him and smiled as a flight attendant took the picture. Innes, a health and safety auditor from Leeds, later revealed that he wanted to take a closer look at Mustafa's belt. He suspected the belt was a fake and it was later discovered that he was right. Innes was soon released and the Cypriot authorities discovered that the hijacker wasn't carrying any explosive devices. Mustafa demanded for a four-page letter written in Arabic delivered to his former wife, a Cypriot woman. Terror was later ruled out as the motive for the hijacking. It seemed that Seif Eldin Mustafa had an unstable personality and the standoff came to an end after approximately six hours when the hijacker surrendered. Shortly afterwards, the selfie Ben Ennis took with Mustafa emerged online and went viral. Number 7. Loose Aggressive Tarantulas Two aggressive tarantulas caused upheaval on an air transit flight from Putacana, Dominican Republic to Montreal, Canada. One of the spiders was spotted towards the end of the flight by a woman wearing a skirt. Catherine Moreau was watching a movie when she felt something brush against her leg. She tried removing it, but only when it started tickling her again did she look down and notice the hairy tarantula. She tried hitting the spider to get it off, and that's when it bit her. It then scampered off under her daughter's luggage. That's when her husband managed to catch the spider in a plastic container. Their daughter, who witnessed the whole scene, was crying in shock. The flight attendants gave first aid to Catherine Moreau and asked the passengers to remain calm, put their shoes on and cover their ankles, as there was another tarantula on the loose. The second spider was captured when the plane landed in Montreal, where it was trapped by a federal agent. The two tarantulas were believed to be Formictopus cancerinis, a species common to the Dominican Republic that ranges from four to seven inches in length and with fangs that can grow to almost an inch long. Although these are aggressive tarantulas, their venom isn't strong. It remains unknown how the spiders got on the plane. An entomologist at the Université de Montreal later told the press it's possible that someone brought them aboard the aircraft to try to sell them in Canada. Number 7. Loose Snake Passengers aboard an Alaskan commuter plane headed to Anchorage were shocked to hear the pilot make an unusual announcement. Guys, we have some loose snake on the plane, but we don't know where it is. It appeared that a passenger on a previous flight had brought a pet snake on board without registering it for travel in the cabin. After arriving at his destination, he reported his snake was missing. Fortunately, the snake wasn't venomous. So the passengers remained calm and they began looking for the loose reptile. A boy was climbing on his seat when he saw the slumbering snake lying partially covered by a duffel bag near the back of the plane. He alerted his mum, who soon came to the realization that the snake was sleeping. As one passenger related, there was no panic. Mostly, people just wanted to see the snake. One of the pilots came to help the flight attendants capture it. He held a plastic trash bag and one of the flight attendants grabbed the snake by the belly and then dropped it into the bag, then placed it in an overhead storage bin for the rest of the flight. 
On March 15, 2014, Chris Kremers and Lee San Froon arrived in Panama for a six-week holiday shortly after their college graduation. After touring Panama for a couple of weeks, the two Dutch girls arrived in Boquette on March 29th. 